You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live, and happy Tuesday. That's right, it's a Tuesday. we got a great show lined up today. We thank you every day for tuning in, because every day we tell you something that's happening in the area, and you learn a lot of important stuff, and once in a while, I may know something important to talk about. Yeah, really? Yeah, once in a while. Once in a very, Not a lot. very rare. No, no, <laughs> very no. Rare. Oh, no, I yeah. love it. That's what we're all about, is the community, what's going on in the community, and, you know, answering your questions. If you have questions, let us know. If there's something you want to hear about, let us know. You know what I want to hear? Weather? I want to hear that it's going to be beautiful oh, for the rest of the week. Watch out. Unfortunately, we may be on a downward slide for the rest of the week ahead, Amanda. I got bad news. Out there right now, conditions are dry, but we are tracking a few isolated showers down to our south and off to the west. As we get more heating of the day going, which we already have plenty of it, we will watch for a few showers and thunderstorms to fire up, especially right around the I-95 corridor, a little west or a little bit of east of it. Uh, certainly can't rule out the possibility of a few strong, even isolated, severe thunderstorms in the mix as well. Most of the coastal areas should manage to stay dry, although an isolated shower or storm not out of the question there either. As we go into the evening and overnight, we lose the heating of the day. We lose that chance for those showers and thunderstorms, but we will see the slight risk of severe weather out there, especially around I-95. Primary threat would be damaging wind gusts. An isolated tornado certainly not out of the question west of 95 out there today. The better chance for severe weather is actually tomorrow. A little more widespread possibility across the entire area for a few scattered strong thunderstorms or even isolated severe thunderstorms as we go through Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Potentially even some heavy rainfall in the mix. So flooding would also be a concern then as well. So certainly we'll be watching the radar very closely for today and tomorrow for that slight risk of severe weather out there. We're going to continue to hold on to the heat and humidity, though. Upper 70s to around 80 degrees through Thursday for the Grand Strand, even low to mid 80s for the inland areas. We do see things drying out a little bit heading toward the weekend, but the coastal areas could see a shower on Saturday. Certainly not out of the question at this point. Sorry, Cecil, I know you don't like that. But the inland areas look like they're going to be dry for the weekend. It all depends on how far this front pushes off to the east. Sunday certainly looks like the nicest day of the upcoming weekend. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. Good afternoon, Carolinas. I'm Crystal Costa. Here's what we're working on today. An early morning fire destroys the IGA store in Marion. How that small community is affected by this massive fire. Plus, for the first time, we're learning what happened just moments before. Investigators say a DHEC worker was attacked by pit bulls in Dillon County back in February. And Florence School District 1 announces its new superintendent today. We'll show you the top candidates in the running for that position. Those stories and much more tonight for your news at 6. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. The Grand Strand Humane Society is with us today with an adorable pup, spunky little guy or Ooh, girl. girl it's guy. a guy. A guy that he's needs a home. His name is Gordon, and we guesstimate Gordon's about five, somewhere between four and five. And he's a Yorkie, and he's just a great companion dog. He's just adorable. Right now, he wants down. He wants to play. Yeah. <laughs> he wants a home. He does want a home. Yeah. He needs a home. Talk to the viewers. Tell them yeah. to come by and get you. Come see Gordon. <laughs> come see Gordon. Well, really a, a pretty dog. He's really cute. He seems they really make friendly wonderful too. dogs. Yeah, very. Yeah, so anybody can just swing on by to meet Gordon? Please do. And all the others that we have. Yes, hundreds. Hundreds. Sure. And a variety. Dogs and cats, and yeah. big and little, and mm -hmm. all different colors. Mm -hmm. So, go on by. You might just meet your new best friend, the Grand Strand Humane Society. Go check them out right there off of Mr. Joe White Avenue. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. It's a Tuesday, and we got a lot to talk about today. Now, let me tell you something big coming up. I'm talking about this Saturday. The you Blessing of the That's Inlet. Right. Yes. It's the 18th annual Blessing of the Inlet. Now, if you're looking for something great to do, you've got to go on down to Merle's Inlet and uh, at Blaine Memorial uh, United Methodist Church. Now, this is a festival that starts at 9 a.m. and runs until 4. There'll be all kinds of vendors, plus food, lots of good food, too. And the Blessing of the Inlet will be from... Uh, will be uh, 
at 11.30. They'll do the actual blessing of the inlet. So you want to make sure you're there for that. And uh, 18th annual blessing of the inlet is Saturday, May 3rd, right down in Murrow's Inlet. If you want to have some fun, look at all of those people. You know, really a lot of fun. The community members really get into this. And um, yum, ice cream, I'm there. But <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a good time. And it's family friendly. They've got a lot for the kids to do, too. So just go on out there. A great way to enjoy the day. That's right. All right, let's find out about today. It's Tuesday, April 29th. And this is Make Someone Happy Day. Okay. Give me a raise, boss. <laughs> that would make people happy. make me huh? very happy. And it's also Egg Salad Week. So you can use all those Easter eggs left over to make some egg salad. Week. That's not bad. Birthday today, 1947. How many of you remember Tommy James? He's 67 years old. He was the leader for the Shondells, recorded Hanky Panky in 1966. And then Crimson and Clover came in 68. 1954, Jerry Seinfeld, he's 70. He's a Sitcom, funny guy. Seinfeld on TV, he was there from 89 to 98, and of course it's in syndication right now. 1958, Michelle Pfeiffer, 56 years old, one of my favorites. Batman Returns, Hairspray, and Scarface, a great actor. Now this day in history, it was in 1961, ABC's Wide World of Sports came on. Mm -hmm. And in 1967, Aretha Franklin released something that women want. It's called respect. That's right. Remember that. In 1982, the 17th Academy of Country Music Awards, Alabama, and Barbara Mandrell wins. All right, from Know It All Apartments, you're waiting on this. I know you're waiting. I am. All right. What are some of the weirdest names parents have named their babies? Cecil. Oh, no. <laughs> that was a good one. Now, here, listen to this. <clears throat> Top 10 names. Swag Butt. I'm not kidding. Hot Dog. Butterbean. Phone, like a telephone. Freak. These are actually yeah. These are actual names. Names on their birth How about this one? Yeah. Poopy. Superman. Mushroom and elbow. Elbow. Who in the world would name their kids that? Well, oh, elbow is actually in the running for our son. Our <laughs> I don't know. You learn something are... every day on this show from the know-it-all department, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Maybe they're just, they're in, you know, they're sitting there, they're like, we got to come up with a name. Elbow. elbow. Elbow, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's I like why you Superman need to better, at least. Before that. At least Superman, you got a superhero. Yeah. That's not oh, so bad. Wait. We have a great show for you today, a lot to talk about, so don't go anywhere. We will be right back in 60 seconds. Weber's Fine Men's Clothing has been providing top quality clothing for men since 1993. Looking for a suit that'll make you look your best? Butler's has a large selection of styles and colors. You'll also find the latest sports coats, dress shirts, and pants. The Allen Edmund line of shoes will top off your outfit, providing free alterations. Butler's is also your one-stop shop for all of your formal wear. Still wondering how you'll look and feel better? Clothing from Butler's will do just that. Butler's Fine Men's Clothing is my clothing store, and it should be yours. The Grand Strand is home to beautiful beaches, immaculate golf courses, exciting nightlife and fun activities for all ages. Unfortunately, not every day is a day at the beach, but legal help is always within your reach. You need an experienced attorney working to secure the best possible outcome for you. When legal issues threaten to cloud your day at the beach, contact the law firm of McCutcheon, Mumford, Bott, O'Day, and Getty today and let us assist you with your claim. We are your lawyers at the beach. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Every week you get to see them, your lawyers at the beach, McCutcheon, Mumford, Va, O'Day, and Getty. And we always are talking about different topics, very interesting stuff for our viewers. Every time we turn around, they've got more questions people are sending in, wanting us to ask these lawyers, and you get some good answers. And guess what? This part's free. <laughs> that, that you know that? Very true. <laughs> All right, what's the first question we, we got? We've got here? Luther on. here yeah. with us today. Yeah. And um, we're, yeah. we're talking about construction defect cases, which I'm, I'm assuming is pretty prevalent in this area. It, they are prevalent down here. Um, what we've got is a, a very moisture rich environment, obviously built at the coast. And you have what you have is a significant number of problems that can arise in buildings where the building envelope isn't put together correctly around the building. The building envelope obviously has to protect the interior of the building from water migration, from water intrusion, which gets into the building and then will create mold, mildew, staining, building degradation. The wall sheathing will begin to rot and the studs. So we have an outside skin of the building called the building envelope, which needs to be secure with sealant, flashing, and properly connected at various areas to keep the moisture from getting into the building because it will find a way to get in and it will produce rot and building degradation at the end of the day. So the building envelope has to be preserved properly. It has to be built correctly. 
And when you go into a building, you can find other defects dealing with structural, hurricane straps, various things like that. All right, now what if somebody thinks they have this problem, the uh, water intrusion, what, sh what should they do? Get legal advice? What we would recommend is that they seek the help of an attorney when they note matters in their unit, for instance, staining, mold, mildew, and other matters like that. They could find an attorney and talk to that attorney about the conditions that exist. Inevitably, there will be water moving into the unit. What probably the first step is, is to seek a third party professional, an engineer, a general contractor, or someone who can go out and verify in the field what conditions exist which are allowing the particular water to get in the building. So what we're doing is that we'd send them somewhere to try to get that report and understand how you go remedy the problem, yeah. the inception of the problem which is creating the end run results. All right, now if, it's, if your house or you know, condo whatever is out of warranty, can you still seek liability against the builder? Yes, you can. Warranties are normally given by a seller or a builder. They're express warranties and implied warranties. And they run for a defined period of time and they expire. However, there are remaining causes of action against sellers, builders, and others for negligence. And there are two particular statutes which primarily address time frames. One is the statute of limitations, which is three years from the date you knew or should have known that you had a problem that existed you have to bring some action, seek a claim. Right. The other one is a statute of repose, which is eight years, which allows you to bring certain claims during that time period also. So okay. if you've got a construction problem, you need to check with an attorney. That's right, um, and That's go right. with these guys, your lawyers at the beach. You can visit them at yourlawyersatthebeach.com. You can also email us questions to legaladvice at wpde.com. And if you go to carolinalive.com, you can scroll down and there's actually an entire playlist of uh, the different topics that we discuss with them every week. You'll see it under this special features link uh, right there. You just click on that and boom, you can go back and look up all the different topics. So check it out, carolinalive.com. Stick with us, we'll be right back. Coming up, the North Myrtle Beach Chamber has what they call the leader cast. Now, we're going to find out more about that. Yeah, it's a really big thing, and they simulcast it, and it goes on at Barefoot Landing. We've got Mark Jordan from the North Myrtle Beach Chamber here to talk a little bit about it. Thank you. Yes, it's the claims to be the world's largest convergence of leaders hmm. wow. uh, around the world. Yeah. There are close to 700 sites at that day, on that day. <clears throat> it's, it's live from Atlanta, so we paid to be a host site. We're the only public access host site uh, on the Grand Street. In the area, sure. Yeah. So uh, tremendous speakers. You know, people are looking to send their team to a leadership development program. You know, for $75, you can spend the day, and, and the leaders like, you know, uh, Archbishop uh, Tutu and Laura Bush, and uh, uh, it's just a, a great lineup of, of well-respected, world-renowned uh, leadership uh, speakers and gurus. Absolutely. <clears throat> what a great opportunity to be able to listen to what all these people have to say. I'm sure it's very uh, inspiring and you can learn a lot. And it, it, the amazing thing is, is last year was our first one and so uh, we weren't really sure what to expect in a simulcast. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> you, once you're there, you really feel like you're live and in Atlanta. They really make it interactive. And so you never really think that you're not there. <laughs> right. Uh, huge screens. It's sort of yeah. like going to a prize fight, you know. We put the big, big screens in the room and the sound is great. And so uh, everybody gets into it. It's yeah. an, it's right, a, now can it's people still sign up for this? They sure they can. Come? Okay. They can go to the website. Uh, right. They can go to the Chamber website and there is a link to the Chamber website where you can actually register, uh, purchase your tickets. Okay. You can purchase multiple tickets. Uh, our impact sponsor this year is Anderson Brothers Bank and so they help us with underwriting it, and then we have some other sponsors as well. Uh, we'll probably, <clears throat> our goal is, well, we, we, we've got 200 is our max. Right. So that's about what we can handle. It's 200 people at the conference center. So okay. you better check on right so now. This conference center at, yeah. at Barefoot, at Barefoot Landing. So Beautiful. if you want to go, you better yep. check on it yep. right now. because You really do. Make, make the call because it will fill up. We'll sell out. Yeah. Now, if you have a company, this is a great opportunity to get, you Send know. somebody to learn. Send somebody right. for $75, and yeah. it includes, you know, breakfast, lunch, breaks. If you sent somebody to another city, Columbia, yeah. Charlotte, for an all-day seminar, it would be $1,000. Right. You, you can right. do it for 75 here. This is right here. Well, all right. Check it out, northmyrtlebeachchamber.com for more information. Click on the LeaderCast link. And, uh, 
Avenger people, good stuff. Leadercast 2014. Stick with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now we're talking about the March of Dimes, the March for Babies. There's a lot of different marches going on in the area, and this time we're talking about one in Dillon County. That's right. Colleen's with us, always bringing us up to date on all this. That is very worthwhile. You need to listen up. Absolutely. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank That's you. That's good. Now, what we got coming up? <laughs> We've got Dylan's March for Babies um, uh -huh. coming up this coming Saturday. Okay. Yeah, We're this excited. Weekend. How times all that start and everything? We've got registration at 9:30, and the event program will start at 10 o'clock, and we'll walk immediately after that. And we actually have a little bit more going on on um, that day. We also have a bicycle ride, which the Dillon County Sheriff's Department—that's part of their fundraising. So they're going to have a, a bicycle ride going on as well. So right. oh, there you now go. Where's the march for things. babies going to take place? It's at Dillon High School. At the high school. We're right okay. there at the high school. So then we'll walk through the community, and I don't know the exact route for the bike ride, but um, I know the Sheriff's Department will keep them safe. Maybe they'll be going by, and if you get tired of walking, you can hop on their bike for a little bit. Like, yeah, <laughs> train. Exactly. You might get back a little faster. Well, I tell you, a lot of these communities put together these, and it's all for a great cause. Absolutely. We just have so many, um, you know, premature births, um, birth defects, infant mortality going on. And in Dillon County, it's one in four babies that are born prematurely. Oh, wow. And our state average is one in seven, so we're definitely in the wrong direction in Dillon County. So we really need to get the education and the awareness out there and, and do the research. Gosh, so this really affects a lot of people there then. Absolutely, absolutely. We, we really have a problem out there in Dillon County, and it is the highest in the state. Wow. So, and, you know, you guys raise all these funds, and it goes right back into the community. It goes right back into that research, into finding, you know, a cure or to help these babies and keep Absolutely. them healthy. And if we can't do the research, we're just not going to be able to have healthy babies. We really have to do that research and that education. So, And it's so important to do the fundraising so that we can do that and continue on. Absolutely. Now people can get in touch and do it. They can still get involved, right? Absolutely. It's right. not too late. They can to just it. call me at the office. 438-1113 or go online to marchforbabies.org. Okay, so you can still sign you up, you know, okay. get a team together, go out, walk, and uh, if you don't have a team, still show up. So Make support. a donation. There's lots of stuff going on That's out there. That's right. Make absolutely. a donation. Absolutely. absolutely. All right, Colleen. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. We appreciate Always it. Always a pleasure to see you. Absolutely. All right, now, if you don't go to take part in the march, just take some money by. You don't have to stay. Just take it in and drop it in the bucket and give them some money, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Help them out. Research is needed. That's right. Mm -hmm. We've got more coming up in just a moment, so stick with us. And coming up, the Chew at 1 p.m., 3.30, the Queen Latifah show. Now, at 5 o'clock, Dr. Oz, realizing that scammers were using his name to try and sell their products, they're checking into it. Shame on you. Oh, tonight, 7.30 p.m., Entertainment Tonight, 8 p.m., Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Get in on it. It's going to be a good one. And coming up at 10 p.m., Celebrity Wife Swap. 9 o'clock in the morning, The Rachel Ray Show, The Kitchen. Co-host Katie Lee joins the set as a short order cook in the kitchen, and Dr. Phil is her first visitor, so that's going to be pretty good. And at 12 noon tomorrow, you know what we've got. Carolina and Company Live bringing you all the interesting things happening. That's right. Okay, so we talked a little bit about this yesterday. Uh, this is Earth Month. Earth Day was last week, and there's a big Earth Day giveaway going on. You can find it on our Facebook page, Amanda Cecil Carolina. We showed you a ton of stuff yesterday. The, the winner gets a bunch of stuff, and they're inventions, and they're made by moms, so I personally like them being a mom myself. <laughs> uh, we've got some more stuff to show you today that the winner will get. Uh, this is Rock a Thigh Baby. you got to love the name, and uh, they're these socks and they actually stay on the child lots of uh, socks fall off but I love the little superhero <laughs> picture because yeah. I have a little boy and I can just That's totally cool. imagine him in these socks but um, they're really cute and so they keep it you know when their pants ride up and their ankles get cold so rocket thigh babies you can check them out at RTB socks Dot com and uh, if you put CL15 you get 15% off just because you watch Carolina and company live so How about um, that? go do That's that deal. yeah and this is such Feel how soft this is. It is such a soft, beautiful little dress. Take a look at this. This is We wow. Urban Collection. They've got a lot of different things. This particular one is called the Owl Dress. You can go to weurban.com and you can, you know, add your own sense of style to it, whatnot. Um, now, if you like to save the earth and go down here, you've got cloth diapers. These are Kanga Care uh, Rumperoos cloth diapers, and they save you a lot of money. Get this $2,000. Per child, you will save wow. by using cloth diapers. So, um, <laughs> kanga-care.com, and uh, you can go there to save the. Um, also, saving these are liners for ladies, and those are reusable too. So, you save some money. Gladrags.com. Up I like here, this. yes, these are so cute. This is adorable too. Um, this is Woomby. 
You can go to <laughs> Wombie.com, and there are these nice little uh, swaddles for babies to sleep in. And this one right here, it's real nice. It's called Mod Swad, and it just kind of hugs the baby and, you know, makes them feel secure and calm so they sleep That's good. So, cool. so yeah, uh, just That's check cool. out our Facebook page yeah. for more information on all this, and good luck to you if you join yeah. in on the giveaway. And, and don't forget now, we picked, we picked out, the, it was hard to pick them out, but we picked out the ladies going to co-host with me. And we'll let you know, uh, we're going to be calling you real soon. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Thank you for joining Thank us. Thank you. Have See a good you day.